Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Uh, thanks for coming along. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Anyone that's been following on recently, been doing a running vlog on coming back from injury, recovery, um, that kind of thing. So if you're new to running, marathon training, ultras, things like that, there could be something quite relevant in here. Next few, uh, next few vlogs and videos might be handy for you. Uh, please subscribe, it does help me out. Um, you know, when, uh, when you're a little channel, it's quite hard at the beginning to get subscribers. So yeah, really appreciate that. Anyway, right down to business. What are we doing today? What are we talking about? <clears throat> right, we're gonna talk about back-to-back -back long runs for ultras. Um, you know, how do you get your, how do you get your legs used to, you know, those long, long days, you know, those six, seven hour training days. Um, you know, without getting injured and uh, without getting run down and things like that. And I think the secret to that is, you know, the back-to-back -back long runs have to be easy runs, you know. So yesterday I did a 14 hour, uh, 14 hour, I did a 14 mile training run, two miles on, three miles off basically, two miles running, three miles walking. And that was three hours, 14 miles. So, you know, not, not a quick, uh, not a quick run or, you know, for a lot of people, probably not a lot of benefit for it. But if you were, say, 60 miles into an ultra, to cover 14 miles in three hours, it's actually not too bad, trust me. I have done some slow ass miles late in ultras and it literally just feels like you're walking backwards, <laughs> just not getting anywhere. You know, you're just trying to keep pace, but everything's sore, your back's sore. You know, you're probably down on calories. So, you know, walking at a 14, 15 minute mile, just can't do it, the body's just absolutely knackered. So that's the benefit of doing these back-to-back -back training sessions with the walk, run kind of method. It's uh, trying to get your brain used to getting those decent, fast walking miles in. You know, and then when you're feeling good, you know, when you're feeling good, you can put in a couple of miles running, jogging, you know, keep that heart rate down. And you'll be surprised how quickly you know, 14 miles turns into 24 miles and 34 miles and 44 miles and before you know it, you're at the end of a 100 mile ultra and you're actually feeling reasonably fresh rather than like me at the end of an ultra feeling absolutely dead, not being able to move and just generally being knackered, you know. Um, it's, just, it's, just not a, it's just not a smart way of training and you know, I'm, I'm frustrated that I didn't cotton on to that method of training early on. So yeah, back to back long runs. So the purpose of today's training session is to do another 14 hour, uh, sorry, never do another 14 mile uh, training session. Make sure I don't become injured or sore or run down. You know, at the end of it, I feel nice and fresh. Um, so that if you needed to, and, it was, and say it was a multi-day event, and say you needed to cover a marathon a day or something like that, tomorrow you could wake up, you know, get a bit of food in your belly and go out and do another long run. You know, another long training session because you know things like the Monarch's Way and things like that. You know, some of these long, um, those long uh, multi-day events. You need to have the ability to wake up and get out there and get miles in. You know, not necessarily fast miles, but just get the miles in. You know, um, and the only way you're going to do that really is to get out there and uh, get those miles done. So yeah, that's the purpose of today's vlog. Back to back training sessions. Are they good for ultras? Yeah, absolutely. But the most important thing is just don't get injured. You know, don't burn yourself out before a race. That's, that's an important lesson is, is don't, you know, don't overtrain. You can get those long back to back runs in without burning yourself out. So yeah, very important. Back to back runs for ultras. Um, don't forget to subscribe if you like the content and uh, come back for tomorrow's vlog which we're going to be talking about the Mephitone training system. All right, everyone. See you soon. Don't forget to subscribe. Cheers.